Hey, my name's Jasmine, and in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you'll need to do to be eligible to apply to dental school. You probably already know that you'll need to take a bunch of science classes at a university, you'll need to do extracurriculars and volunteer and research, you'll have to take this crazy DAT exam, get letters of recommendation, yep, that's all true. You will have to do all that, but I'm here to tell you it's totally doable with patience, good planning and dedication. You'll get through it and it'll all be worth it and you'll be a dental student before you know it. So the first thing I recommend you do is do your research. Find out about dentistry. Something as simple as reaching out to a dentist in your area and asking if you can come shadow and see what the day in the life of a dentist is like. This is really important because the route to becoming a dentist does take a lot of time, energy, and money, especially going to dental school itself, and you don't wanna to get to the end of that and realize that dentistry really isn't what you're passionate about. So do your research and find out if dentistry is really for you. Next is the biggest and most time-consuming thing you'll need to do to be eligible to apply to dental school, which is taking the proper prerequisite classes. Something that I didn't do that I really wish I did is early on like in your freshman year of college or right when you decide that you want to be a dentist research dental schools and exactly what they require out of their applicants the reason why looking into these schools is important early on is that each school varies a little bit in which prerequisite classes they want you to take and they also vary in how many hours of observation you should have also each school is different in terms of if they focus on research or volunteer and community service. So it's important to know that early on so that you can spend your time wisely and make sure that you cover all your bases. So to give you an idea, I live in Portland, Oregon, and when I first decided that I wanted to be a dentist, I really wanted to put all my eggs in one basket at OHSU. So as an undergrad, I took only the courses that they required, which was a year of general biology, a year of general chemistry, both of those 200 level, a year of organic chemistry, and all of those classes with labs, physics with labs, one term of biochemistry, and a year of English and composition, or whatever your school requires for your bachelor degree. So I took all those classes, I got great grades, but when I went to apply to schools, I needed to apply to more than just OHSU, and that's when I noticed that a lot of other schools will also require molecular biology, or calculus, other upper division science classes, and then I was limited to which schools I could apply to because I hadn't taken those courses. So learn from me, do your research. Luckily, there's only 66 dental schools opposed to like 140 medical schools. So it should be pretty easy to go on the internet and find out which schools you actually see yourself going to and just making sure that you meet all the requirements. That way you can plan over the years to make sure that you satisfy everything and you have a manageable schedule. By the way, your major really doesn't matter. Each of these dental schools just wanna see that you've taken the required courses. I got a degree in general science and I got into dental school just fine. The next thing I wanna talk about is activities and shadowing. So in order to have a glowing application, you will definitely need to show that you are involved in extracurricular activities, volunteering in dentistry or outside of dentistry. Research is a great one too, and being involved in your school clubs and that sort of thing. This is to show your commitment to community, public health, and furthering education and research in medicine. This is something that dental schools really look for and really value. They want to accept students that they know when they release back into the world, they will give back to their community. So this is how you prove that you're that type of person. Reaching out to a dentist is a great way to get started on this because you can start getting your observation hours in, learning about dentistry, and hopefully volunteer or contribute in some sort of way to add some spice to your application. And bonus, the more eagerness a dentist sees in you, the better your letter of recommendation will be. Dental schools actually require at least 50 hours of observation of a general dentist. So that's another thing you're crossing off your list by getting in touch with a dentist. Also, stay involved with your pre-dental organization at your university if you have one. I was involved with mine and it was a great way to find out about 
volunteer and research opportunities, and they had other activities like manual dexterity workshops, which are all great things to add to your application, even if they're little volunteer activities sprinkled in. When you finally do get to application time, you will need to record the dates and hours and the duties of each of your activities. So keep track of those. As soon as you get started, just start an Excel sheet and keep track of your hours. Dental schools also love to see that you're doing what you're passionate about. So if you're involved in an intramural sport or if you ski on the regular, or if you do anything cool like that, definitely include it in your application. They want students that are well-rounded and have fun and know how to live life. It might feel overwhelming, but when it comes to these activities, especially the ones that are related to dentistry and medicine and science, I recommend quality and length over quantity. So you should be involved in something uh, like a volunteer activity for at least a term and you should give it a good amount of time and really invest in those relationships there so that you can hopefully get a letter of recommendation. To give you an idea of the activities that I did, I was involved in multiple dental clinics for over three years. I did observation, volunteer, and I ended up working there as a dental assistant, which is what I do now. I also did research for about a year and a half and wrote my uh, honors thesis on that topic that I did the research on. And I was a learning assistant in biology for a year and I had a few other um, volunteer activities that I did with my pre-dental organization. And that's really it. Probably did about 10 to 20 hours a week of extracurricular type stuff starting my sophomore year in college. The next thing I wanna talk about is letters of recommendation. So while you're taking these pre-dental courses and doing these activities, you really need to be thinking about who you're gonna get your letters of recommendation from. The Ads As application allows you to submit four letters. That's how many I submitted. I did two letters from my instructors of my pre-dental courses and I did one letter from a dentist and one from my research supervisor. This is why forming relationships with those people early on is really important so that they can really talk you up in those letters. It's also important to ask for these letters well before the application opens so your writer has time to complete it and you're not waiting on that letter to submit your application. The next thing you'll need to do when you apply to dental school is have a personal statement ready. This is an essay written by you about why you want to be a dentist and why you want to go to dental school. It's 4,500 characters long. This is a chance for you to put some personality in your application and show who you are, what you're about, and where you came from, and what makes you a unique person. Do not save this for last minute, please. While it doesn't need to be like a work of literary art, it does need to be something that you're really confident submitting because once you submit it, you cannot go back and change it. So give yourself a lot of time to make a lot of drafts and get a lot of feedback from your friends and family and instructors and really be open to criticism and open to even starting over multiple times. I got started probably nine months before I applied and I'm glad I did because I went through a lot of drafts and I really ended up using all that time. Also, it was nice to be able to just like put it away for a few weeks and not think about it and come back to it with really fresh eyes. There is also what's called a disadvantage essay which you are allowed to write in the ads as application. It's also 4,500 characters and it's an opportunity for you to clarify if you've had financial, socioeconomic, or personal and physical barriers in life that you've had to overcome. Next thing on the list is the DAT, the Dental Application, Dental Admission Test. The DAT is like this four and a half hour long test that you take to prove that you're a smarty pants. So it has general chemistry, biology, organic chemistry, and then you have a reading comprehension portion, which you just read a passage and you answer questions about it and there's a quantitative reasoning section which is feels like one of those like math placement tests it's all these like different types of math problems and there is the perceptual abilities portion which is like doing 3d puzzles the best way to prepare for the dat is to not stress about it number one number two is when you are taking those courses like gen chem biology and ochem 
pay attention and really learn the material really well because it will show up again on the DAT. The next thing is when you're actually ready to study and take the exam, just focus on the exam for six to eight weeks. It'll have to be in the summer because I really don't recommend trying to take classes and study for the DAT. Trust me, you do not want to take this exam more than once. If you're interested in knowing more about the DAT and you'd like me to do an in-depth video on that topic, please comment below. I'd really be happy to do it if you guys are interested. So that's it, the prereqs, the letters of recommendation, the activities and observation hours, and the DAT, and the personal statement. But that's pretty much it that you really need to be focusing on and making sure you get done. The last thing is the application itself. The application is a brochure about you. It's your chance to really sell yourself and make sure that these schools see how wonderful you are and how much you wanna be a dentist. So make sure your application glows. That's what you're focusing on as a pre-dental. And then when the application opens, which is every year around June 1st, you will want to get right on that baby and fill the whole thing out and submit it as soon as possible. That is so important, apply early. That is all I'm gonna say about the actual application itself right now, but if you are interested in knowing more specifically about the ADSAS application or any of the topics that I just went over, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Ask me questions. Please let me know if there's anything I missed or if there's anything that you'd be interested in hearing me talk about. Thank you so much for watching this video and come back next week for another dental video.